Thank you, sir, for your words of wisdom. One of the central factors that drive an organization to success is the le leader of vision and skills. And we are blessed to have one. Our Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir, Professor J.P. Saini, is the founder Vice Chancellor of Netaji Subhash University of Technology, Delhi, who has also been assigned the additional charge of Honorable Vice Chancellor, Delhi Technological University. Professor Saini joined as the director of erstwhile Netaji Subhash Institute of Technology in July 2017 till 2018. Before joining NSIT, he was working as a director of Dr. Ambedkar Institute of Technology for Handicapped, UP, for two terms, and principal of Madan, Mo uh, Madan Mohan Malviya Engineering College, Gorakhpur, from 2010 to 2013. Simultaneously, he was also holding the additional charge of principal in MKR Engineering College of Information Technology, Azamgarh. Professor Saini is a professor of electronics and communication engineering in Bundelkhand Institute of Engineering and Technology, Jhansi. He has authored more than 200 publications in various international and national journals and conferences. Professor Saini possesses more than 34 years of experience in academics, research, and academic administration. Now may I have the honor to request our inspiration Honorable Vice Chancellor Sir to guide us. Today's chief guest, Professor R.K. Goyes, Vice Chancellor, Delhi Pharmaceutical Science and Research University, Delhi. <coughs> Professor R.K. Sinha, Vice Chancellor, Gautapuddai University, Greater Noida. Professor A. Trivedi, Dean Industrial Research and Development. Professor Madhusudan, Registrar and Dean Undergraduate Studies. Professor Ruchika Malutra, Associate Dean IRD. All head of the departments, all researchers of DTU, faculty member of DTU, NSUT, staff and dear students. This is really a very proud moment to see only researchers, 200 researchers in one place. I am thankful to Professor Goel sir, who is one of the leading researcher of country, not only country, but worldwide. He is a very famous researcher. So thank you very much, sir, for accepting our invitation to be the chief guest for today's function. It me really gives immense pleasure to welcome you, sir, today in this fifth research excellence ceremony of DTU. And I would like to thank Professor UK Singh also, because with his permission, I have started the same award in NSUT. I congratulate to all awardees here, all researchers today present in this auditorium. You all are aware about your university. I would like to draw the kind attention of our chief guest here. Professor uh, here, Delhi Technological University has an illustrious history spanning over 80 years. The university promotes and support research and the focus on research and innovation, even at the undergraduate level. The institution has kept the quality of education and research as its main focus of academics and professional activities. And this has earned the university a high reputation in the country and abroad, as is evident from the figuring several times among the top engineering institutions in the country as well in different rankings of uh, QS and Times. I would like to share some statistics of the university international ranking in Times Education World University ranking we secured 1001 plus when we participated first time. And this year we have been placed in the bracket of 601 to 800. <laughs> Primarily on the basis of research and citations. We have been placed seventh in India. 
we have been ranked at 191 in the emerging economy ranking in 2020 NIRF ranking we were ranked 36 position among the engineering institutions and at 45th in the category of universities the 2021 NIRF ranking placed DTU at 36 position among the engineering institutions and at 42 in the category of universities. The university has evolved several policies including yearly research excellence award. The award are granted in three categories namely outstanding premium and uh, uh, commandable I think, right? third one. So these policies have contributed toward making the university improve in its citation and publications. Let me share some publications and citation statistics from Scopus. The H index of DTU was 34 in 2016, 44 in 2017, 60 in 2018, 69 in 2019, 79 in 2020. And currently, the ANCH index of the university is 87, as reported by Scopus. So we are rising. The publications of the university were 526 in 2016, 548 in 2017, 665 in 2018, 821 in 2019, 1008 in 2020, and 1,562 in 2021. The total citation of university were 4,024 in 2016, 4,981 in 2017, 6,613 in 2018, 9,661 in 2019, 15,479 in 2021. And this year, uh, 21,134. <laughs> so this is basically exponential rise here in citation. So last year, 272 researchers with 191 SCI, SSCI indexed publications have been awarded for their publications with award money of rupees 76 lakhs. I am happy to announce that this year, there have been 304 SCIE index publications with 199 principal awardees. In, in total, here the, the award money here goes around 1 crore 16 lakhs. Out of 304 SAI index publications selected for research excellence award department of electronics and communication has 46 publications <laughs> highest one this year department of applied physics has 42 publications so publication rate i think is applied physics is higher than electronics as compared to number of faculty members so this is really good here. Well done, Department of Applied Physics. Department of Mechanical Engineering has 35 publications. Department of Electrical Engineering, 27 publications. Department of Biotechnology, 26 publications. Department of Computer Science and Engineering, 25 publications. Department of Applied Chemistry, 22 publications. Department of Information Technology, 21 publications. Department of Environmental Engineering, 15 publications. Department of Civil Engineering, 10 publications. University School of Management and Entrepreneurship, 5 publications. Department of Software Engineering, 3 publications. School Science of Management, one publication, and Department of Humanities, one publication. Because these are the publications which are having an impact factor from a certain level, like I think one or yes. So there are definitely there will be the number of publications here. Uh, 
will be in SCI publications, you know, which will have less than one citation index. So these are not counted here in the department list. So this year, here, we are awarding 1.15 crore, 1.16, 1.15 crore, 1.5 crore, basically. So we have increased 76 lakhs to 1.15. So this is a big rise here, this year. <laughs> the university has established the DTU Innovation and Incubation Foundation, and currently 18 teams are working in the center Recently, Government of NCT of Delhi has awarded the university a project, Youth for Education, with an aim to establish project management unit for the design, development, and implementation of Youth for Education program. Under this program, NCT of Delhi has sanctioned Desh Ke Mentor program, which is one of the largest mentoring program in the school education. I once again heartily congratulate all the 2022 Research Excellence Award recipient in various disciplines for their outstanding achievement in research and look forward how their contributions will excel our university and our nation in the year to come. So thank you, thank you all. <laughs>